Yes. And uh, I remember we were talking about like the elements like uh, you use in the book, like the uh -huh. spaceship and how yeah. it can, it's, it's like one of the music uh, elements in your country. Yeah. Yes, if you can tell me about that. Okay, so uh, as a filmmaker, I've always liked some directors that I, I've always looked up to, like James Cameron, the guy who did Avatar, and mm -hmm. uh, they get, uh, Ridley Scott, who's, th who's done all these alien movies. The way he draws his, uh, his, his sort of characters from spaceship to the characters and how they're going to look, you know, storyboards, everything gets inspired by sea life. Even James Cameron, apparently, they look at sea life from underwater, deep underwater, and use that as inspiration. So when I was creating Beats of War, I was like, how can I create something so unique that no one who will know will, will, will say that this looks like this in Star mm. Wars or, or in, in Marvel or in another movie? So I went back and looked at music instruments from back home. It's a general music instrument called Moduli in Africa. I think most of African countries use it. It's like, sort of like this sort of uh, plant that grows, that becomes round, but it's got space inside with seeds. So they take out the seeds, they dry it, and they bend a wood, right? And they put a wood, a metal string. So they use some sort of... Uh, you know, like uh, when you drink Fanta, you know, the, the bottle tops, yes. they, they, they put them, lots of them on a string. And so they used to hit that with a little stick. So it creates a sound. Mm -hmm. So they call it a muduli. So I looked at that music instrument and a few more others and drew inspiration from there to create like warships and spaceships uh, in my story. So that you cannot find anywhere that's what they, they, mm. they talk about afrofuturism like look at what you have right now mm -hmm. and how can you reimagine that in the stories you're trying to tell so yeah i yeah i looked at music instruments i also looked at the like titan crane in scotland you know that sort of crane that they used to take things off the ship so that was used as an inspiration as a mothership in my comic book so these little details so that when people are reading as well they're like ah that's really cool, you know, and I just don't want to create a comic book that is out there, that my passion is not there. When you speak, it, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> so I, I go in. I, I always like to make research and pay attention to those little details so that I feel like I'm part of the creation as well, which mm -hmm. makes me care about my work.